Elton John was said to have been left petrified whilst recording albums back in the 80s after his recording studio was plagued with paranormal activity. His songwriting partner and best friend Bernie Taupin, who was with Elton John at the time, records being left to film in a spine-chilling 18th-century property where a number of unexplainable ghost-like events took place. It happened during recording sessions at Chateau de Rouville near Paris, as reported by the Daily Star. It was where the duo went on to tape three albums, Don't Shoot Me I'm Only the Piano Player, Goodbye Yellow Brick Road and Honky Chateau, a cover name inspired by what proved to be a haunted house. Dauphin shared all the details of the horror events in his new autobiography Scattershot as he recalls being surrounded by a group of petrified pals, including Elton John. He said, there had always been talk of restless spirits and ghosts, strange unexplainable events that had filtered down from client to client. I'm by nature seriously skeptical about the paranormal. But put yourself in a spooky-ass chateau on a stormy night and confidence in practicality flies out the window. It started with a freaked-out cat and a self-igniting fireplace. I mean the fire literally started on its own and the cat looked like it had been electrocuted. Dopin then went on to explain the events of one particular evening, after the lights mysteriously went out. Retreating to go and find candles from his bathroom he recalls noticing that the mirror has been scratched from the inside out. The group were convinced they heard voices, whilst others recall being tugged or tapped on the shoulder by invisible hands. And when it came to listening back to their recorded tracks Bernie claims he heard creepy spirit noises. As he wrote, what is the gospel truth is that when we were playing back tracks in the studio the next day, there were most definitely audible moans and groans on the tape that had disappeared when we replayed them later. The ghosts had obviously given up on a recording career and we were happy to get the hell out of Dodge. The Chateau closed its doors for good in 1985, a year after its owner, plagued by debt took his own life in a nearby hotel. Follow Mirror Celebs on Snapchat, Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, YouTube and Threads.